Hello everyone, welcome to Pharma Light, and let's continue with our yesterday's topic that is complexation. This is part two of the topic complexation. We have already seen part one in our yesterday's video. In part one, what we had seen was the what is complexation, the main classification. We two classes covered KT, that is metal complexes and organic complexes. We already uh, seen about uh, chelates, olefin types, and under chelates, we saw what are chelating agents, sequestering agents, chelates' ke application. Kya hai. We also saw drug caffeine, quin hydrons, picric acid, and all this. Aaj hum jo bacha hua topic hai, complexation mein se, wo complete karenge. Also, do watch our series that is Boost Your Basic series. It's been a lot of interesting videos uploaded on our YouTube channel. Pe aap kabhi bhi dekh sakte Today, we'll be discussing about inclusion complexes. This is the last category. And we will solve MCQ. So, what are inclusion complexes? Inclusion complexes are mainly channel lattice type. Now, what do you mean by channel lattice type? The most common example here is starch iodine solution. This is a channel type ka complex. Hai, matlab, isme jo Iodine molecules are trapped ho jate hai glucose. Ke that is, your iodine molecules are trapped within the spirals of glucose. The crystals of deoxycholic acids are arranged for forming a channel which fits into complex. That means, there is a channel or complex and there is a host and channel. There are two things in this. That is, host and the guest. If we call host ko channel, hai, vaise there is a guest. So, your host could be either deoxycholic acid urea, thiourea or amylose. This is host to a cavity. This is guest molecule ke fit hota hai. that is paraffins, esters, acids, glyc ethyl, ethyl glycols or alcohols and dioxins. So your host entraps your guest and forms a channel lattice type of complex. A typical example for this is starch iodine. Examples, it is used for separation of optical isomers. So you can see how it is made, you can remember it. Next is layer types. Now, layer types are which compounds? Mein hote compounds such as clay, montomorlite, that is a constituent of bentonite. These can entrap hydrocarbons, alcohols, and glycols, and they form another molecular layer, monomolecular layer of host and guest. Matlab, there is first one layer, and then that entraps the another layer of hydrocarbon or glycols, and it forms another monomolecular layer. So, here are guest or host. Hote so basically, these are layers one about the other or one inside the other. Then the next category is clathrate. So clathrate mainly you can remember the clathrate C for cage. A cage-like structure is formed in clathrate. Example is warfarin sodium USP is a clathrate of water and isopropyl alcohol. That is, it forms a cage wherein your hydroquinone molecule crystallizes in a cage-like structure with hydrogen bonding. You can see that you have a hydroquinone molecule. It is an entrapped or cage-packed structure banta hai because they are connected to hydrogen bonds. It captures hydrogens and then again it releases hydrogen. But when it forms hydroquinone, it is in this packed closure form like a cage. So, we say cage-like clathrates because of hydrogen bonding. Now, what are the applications of these? You can use the clathrates as synthetic metal aluminum silicates, which are to be used as molecular seeds. They are also used to store gaseous, volatile, and toxic substances by the mechanism of clathrate formations. Now, the next category is monomolecular type of complexes. These involve entrapment of a single guest molecule inside the cavity of one host. Matlab yaha, a host sirf ek hi guest ko incorporate karta hai. Whereas in clathrates, you might have one host incorporating several other guests, but in monomolecular, mono meaning single one. So you have only one guest and one host. Most host, host molecule is mostly cyclodextrin. Here to apne sunai hoga, there is very often a question on cyclodextrins for your entrance exams. These cyclodextrins are cyclic oligosaccharides and they contain minimum of six glucopyranose units which are attached by 1,4 alpha 1,4 linkage. Now in cyclodextrins mein minimum six units hote hai, and they are connected by 1,4 alpha linkage. Now what are the types of cyclodextrins or classes you can say? Alpha, beta and gamma are three types of cyclodextrins and this is very very important to remember. They consist of 6, 7, and 8 glucose or glucopyranose units. That is, alpha contains 6, beta contains 7, and gamma contains 8. You will have to have a lot simple, but it is easy questions. Definitely, exam may have to be. 
So you should not lose marks when you get such an easy question. Now, what are the applications of these? Enhanced solubility, that is, solubility of retinoic acid is increased when you complex it with beta cyclodextrin. Or enhanced dissolution, that is, dissolution rate of drugs like famotidine, tolbutamide is also enhanced when you complex it with beta cyclodextrin. Enhanced stability. Stability of drugs like aspirin, benzocaine, ephedrine, testosterone is improved when you complex it with cyclodextrin. So, when you complex it your complexing agent being cyclodextrin, it enhances solubility, dissolution, stability. Sustained release, that is it helps also in sustained release preparations. With highlighted cyclodextrin, it will retard the release of drugs like diltiazem and isocyanide dinoid. That is when you complex your drugs like diltiazem and isosorbide dinitrate with cyclodextrin, it forms a sustained release preparation. That is, it releases the release and it means it sustains it. Now, in general, we have seen all class of applications of chelates, of clethorates, of cyclodextrins. Now, in general, what is the use of complexation? One is to reduce toxicity. If it's complex, then there is no compound ka toxicity. Antidote for metal poisoning, that is, if you have any poisoning issues to reduce that toxicity or poisoning, you form a complex. Drug action through metal poisoning, antibacterial activity, enhanced solubility and dissolution, solid state stability, volatility, chemical stability, and absorption and bioavailability. That is, your absorption of a drug and bioavailability also depends upon the type of complex. Now, example, when it comes to absorption and bioavailability, the bioavailability of tetracyclines is reduced if you give it with uh, cations like calcium, magnesium, and aluminum. You know that there is an interaction between such cations and tetracycline, very common drug drug interaction. But on the other hand, if you combine beta cyclodextrins with uh, indomethacin and barbiturates, it has enhanced bioavailability. So, whether your bioavailability is increasing or decreasing depends upon the drug. But toxicity hamesha reduce hota hai because it reduces the toxic effects. It helps in reducing poisoning, antibacterial activities enhanced, so, uh, dissolution, solubility is enhanced. Jo abhi humne dekha tha. Your bioavailability is the one which depends upon whether your drug is uh, tetracycline, calcium ions, or whether you are having endomethacin and barbiturates. Now, we have some questions. Uske pehle, do make sure that you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. Press the bell icon so that you get a reminder when we post a video. Don't miss out on any important videos. We also have our free WhatsApp group where we are posting daily MCQs for GPAT, NIPER, other exams, job related openings. So to get added onto a group, just drop us a message on this below mentioned WhatsApp number. We will add you to our group. Now, let's see the first question. The number of dative bonds to the central metal ion is its dash. Oxidation number. Compound number, coordination number, and atomic number. Now, we have complexation. We have to oxidation number. Are we carrying out oxidation reduction reactions or are we doing a standard hydrogen potential? Standard hydrogen potential, SHE, that is your electrode potentials. All that decides whether your compound is oxidizing or reducing. Then, compound number. Is your compound number related? To what you are doing in coordination complexes? No. Atomic number. Atomic number kahan se milta hai? from periodic table. That is, we start from hydrogen, helium, lithium. But number of bonds is something which is related to coordination number. Now, what is coordination number? We have cobalt ka example in our first complex Part 1 ke video, mein, cobalt 2 plus, cobalt 3 plus, 6 plus, different cobalts are available. So, in cobalt, when we see that the complexation, when it occurs, cobalt, how many bonds banata hai? We get six bonds from cobalt, right? We dekha tha NH3 ke saath bond karta hai, chloride ke saath bond karta hai. So, these six bonds, that is the central atom form six bonds, is called as coordination number. So, here option C is correct. Next one, which of the following is or are, are examples of sequestering agents? Citric acid, EDTA, tartarates, and all of the above. We have seen in the first video that the sequestering agents, which compounds are sequestering agents? The ones which are having the capacity to form water soluble chelate. 
that is if they form a stable water soluble chelate we may have sequestering agents kept in and only three examples we had seen that is citric acid edt and tartrate all these form water soluble chelates and hence they are called as sequestering agents and the process is called as sequestering it is the property by which a metal is suppressed without removing by solution ye humne dekha tha first video mein so the correct answer is option b next one beta cyclodextrin contains dash number of glucose units 6 7 8 and 10 ye to maine abhi aapko just bola tha ki this is very important you can expect a definitely one or two questions from this chapter so three types of cyclodextrins we have that is alpha beta gamma alpha mein six units hote hain beta mein seven and gamma mein eight unit hote hain and they are connected by one comma four linkage alpha linkage so yahan beta ke bare mein pucha hai so the correct answer is option b thank you for watching the video and i hope you all enjoyed it stay tuned we are coming up with more videos soon